He's been making music since he was 13, and more than 50 years later, he's got a lot to show for it. Livingston Taylor has written and recorded 20-plus albums, including two top 40 and three top 100 Billboard hits, and a documentary that came out last year all about his life. Like most of us, we come to our music, and we come to our music with a ferocity because so many of us have these pieces that are of us that are completed by making music. In 2017, he even got his own holiday in the city of Boston. And this year, to commemorate it all, he put out a new album with a selection of his concerts from over the years called, I don't know if it's Live or is it Live? 50 Years of Livingston Taylor. Joining me with the answer to that and more ahead of an upcoming show at the Wilbur's Livingston Taylor. Is it Live or is, what is it? Live. Live. I don't know. Okay. I haven't figured it out either. Okay, fine. It's, uh, so, are there 87 songs in this thing? Am I right about that? There are a lot of songs. Is it 87? I can imagine that it is. Well, that's all I read. It, all right, no, I, uh, I your, haven't, I haven't counted yours. them, but I believe that there are that many. So, yeah. a serious question. When you go back to look at 50 years of your performing yeah. life, yeah. did you discover songs that you didn't even know you had recorded had or complete, forgotten? I had I discovered songs that I had completely forgotten on, at every level. Is that I really no true? Idea. Yeah. It's so when really you heard true. your voice uh, singing sing, this song, what was that? What was that like? It was like, wow, sweet! I wrote a song <laughs> that I just and but they would have fallen out for whatever reason, and they just didn't get carried along, and uh, and I forgot them, and they just go into uh, what is it like some hearing yourself? I, I'm serious. As a kid. Yeah. Singing when it's you, it's the same. Well, human, there are some but... things. There are some things that are interesting. First, um, uh, when I was very young, uh, seventeen and eighteen, some of those records. The thing that surprises me most is what a good guitar player I was back then. I mean, I'm a good guitar player now, but mm -hmm. I've been doing it a while. But back then, I was good too, and uh, I heard my voice when I was twenty, and I started studying voice. Uh, after I made my first record, because I really was aware that I wanted to sing better, that I needed to sing better than I was. And so I've studied voice uh, ever since. So can I, I'm going to make a pitch for this, because okay. I'm a big fan of yours, as I you know. I know you are. So the 87, that. even though you yeah. don't know it, yeah. some never released before. That's number one. Yeah. Two, you get a copy of the documentary called Life is Good. Are you aware yes. of that? I am aware and of that. And you get a book of personal notes and photos. Yeah. The only, do you cook for people if they buy this thing? Do you come out and like make a meal or? Uh, what? Uh, what? You're worried about the price of it. No, I'm saying, I mean, is that what you get? You get everything with this. You get, you get a book, you get a documentary. Yes. No, I don't cook because I'm not much of a cook, but I will come and detail your car. I'll clean up those hubcaps. <laughs> Fine, I could this use that. This thing is going to shine. So Jimmy. to create the right feel yeah. for the rest of it, could you play yeah. something right now? I know sure. you're going to play more later, but play a little yeah. song. What are you going to play, Louis? I don't know. Okay. I just pick it up and let's see what's here. Okay. And what I love about playing, when I pick up this guitar and I hear these notes, I'm so pleased. And then you can just have a little simple thought. The river is wide. I can't cross over. And neither can. My wings to fly, if me a boat that can carry two, and both shall roll, my love and I. It's so, it's so much so fun. Beautiful. And by the way, I, I, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I like hearing this as well. Uh, yourself I mean, we're yeah, talking about. You when do. I'm singing, I, I think to myself, wow, this is so cool. Can and I tell you, so, I feel the same way, and I'm yeah, not you. Yeah. You know, I, I watched this documentary, yeah. uh, Life is Good. Life, is, tell good, life yeah. is Good. And if, if I don't know if you're a spiritual kind of character, but if the Almighty or whatever, mm -hmm. whoever, whatever yeah. there is, came down yeah. and said, you can only choose one, Livingston yeah. Taylor. You can be a performer. Yeah. Or you can be a professor. I would 
guess, despite your love of mm -hmm. performing, you might choose the latter. Am I right? You are so into this thing with your kids at yeah. Berkeley that it is unbelievable. Well, I love to teach and I love to be, I don't have children personally. And so to be around uh, that college age, that, that it's the final rifling as is is, is they come out of the barrel into life. I love just putting that final little uh, spin. And I love looking at them and telling them that it's going to work out great. That they live under the glow of a beautiful universe and that they can't get it wrong. Go forth and be, above all else, be fear-free and bold. And you know, by, by the way, I should say you teach performance. Which yes, is, uh, I do. Part, you've had some pretty famous people uh, move through that classroom. Is yes, that not I've true? had Give some. Me. Well, uh, 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 Susan Tedeschi I took my her. class and uh, and Gavin DeGraw took my class and John Mayer was in my Whatever class. Whatever happened to him, by uh, the yeah. way. Yeah, really. Yeah, and uh, a, a young fella recently, a guy by the name of Charlie Puth. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Puth, and he's been hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Uh, yes, he, he's so, been, uh, but when he's you been teach really it, it, you yeah. seem to have more. You talk a lot uh, from the documentary, yeah. I learned this. I wish I had actually been in your class. That You talk about the relationship with the audience. Yes. What is that message that you convey about the performer's relationship with those people who have come to see him or her? First off, you need, the performer needs an audience. The, said another way, one of the things I'll say to my students is that you envisioned being a creator because it was clear to you that creators live as gods. The great irony is that the only way you can be, can have a home on Mount Olympus is because mortals think you should be there. So how ironic that the only way you can live as one of the gods is by advocacy of mortals. And trust me, there are a lot of things competing for that, uh, uh, for those mortals. Yeah, but you know, it's interesting. Again, I only have experience with yeah. your class from this documentary, but I would argue as an outsider mm -hmm. that you aren't talking about just the would-be gods. Yeah. You're talking to anybody who performs almost in any setting. Yes. You're talking to me. You're talking to the person who stands up at work in front of their co-workers mm -hmm. to, quote, perform a something. No question. It is everybody on the planet at a certain point has to transition from their family to their peer group Group, their family being biologically predisposed to like them, their peer group under no such constraint. And what is essential is that you be able to advocate for your vision amongst your peers. Okay, we have 30 seconds left. The Wilbur with you and Janice Ian, Yes, with Janice who Ian. I loved. I haven't oh, heard I'm, her in years. Do you guys perform together at all? We do a thing? couple of things together, but I'm telling you, she is. You can sort of like me and go see her and you will get your money's worth because um, uh, Jim, she is really So what do you terrific. play? You play essentially from this whole deal, I assume, you right? Well, I just... Uh, whatever... I just play whatever... Is that really comes. true? Do you really not know what I you're going to really, play? I, I have some ideas, but it changes all the time. And, and it changes in terms of how the audience is feeling, whether they want to laugh, whether they uh, need to cry, um, where I want them to go, how I'm feeling, and what, uh, what songs are... are appealing to me at any given time. Well, I'm excited, but here's the 50 more years, Livingston Taylor. Mm. You are one of the best. Thank you, Jim. Thanks so much. Feeling is mutual. You. Livingston Taylor, yeah. the album again is Live Live Whatever, 50 Years of Livingston Taylor. And again, you can catch Live Live at the Wilbur this Saturday, August 17th at 7.30. For more information, head to thewilbur.com.